ISCAP demo number four. Let's take a look at the Python HDL5 API interface. There's some sample code here on the right-hand side showing how to link efficiently and save, retrieve, and analyze big sets of data. You'd make an instantiation call on line 21, and then on line 24, you're going to access one of those functions, the export setup function, pass location tags, the setup you want to interact with, and the type of data. Let's take a look at the Pi API demo model provided by ICCAP. The README files are very helpful. I encourage you to check those out. And then there's four different macros that show you how to import HCF5 data. We're going to look at the first one, the LSYNC one, and the last one importing from multiple setups. So just so you know we're not tricking you, uh, when you open up that uh, Pi API demo, that all of the setups are empty, like IDVD here. All of the setups are empty. Let's take a look at macro number one, import setup LSYNC. It's going to show the easiest way to capture data, import data, setup by setup. ISCAP comes with some example Wafer Pro data shown here on the right. And we're looking at it in the HD5 viewer. And uh, basically, you need to provide tags to the specific setup to how to find the data where you want to access in the HD5 structure. Here's the code in lines 33 through 43 showing how to specify that breadcrumb path, tags, keys. So we, we use an ordered dictionary is the structure that we're using in Python. And we set things like lot, specific lot, temperature, wafer, die, subsite. We need to look at lines 16 through 22 to see the function of the code that actually brings in, does the importing of the HTML5 data into ICCAP. There is a call to the HDF5IO uh, class method, and then the function file import setup, where we actually create an ISCAP setup from our, our uh, passed in context uh, order dictionary and the destination setup. Now let's uh, run the uh, first macro and see the fruits of our labor here. If we look in the uh, DUT LSYNC IDVD setup, now it's populated. We can uh, expand full page and see all the plots. It's all been imported from the HDF5 file. And everything's in a list or LSYNC sweep based upon the function that we're using here. And all the data's in there, all the setup variables. And you can plot the data. Given the time constraints that we have here, let's shift gears and look at the fourth macro, input from multiple setups with filter. This will be one of the more advanced examples where we actually, in the order dictionary, we use a special syntax dot plus on the die uh, to capture all the dies and then a specific IDVD trace for the setup. The previous macro if you ran it would bring in multiple setups as shown here under dot collection. In this case, we're going to bring in less data because we're filtering it. Let's also do some post-processing on top of it. Let's provide a VG, VB value. And, and grab those specific data. So maybe one trace out of the IDVG plot. Once you have everything in a multi-dimensional data frame, you can easily filter it. The rest of the macro converts things into an ICCAP setup. Lastly, let's run macro number four, and we're going to get a new setup, a new plot, with the same trace data IDVD on multiple dies. Under plot options, we can get a better look by setting to solid line with symbol. And we can add a legend under session settings and then we're going to see multiple die now you've seen the power of python acf5 and comparing multiple data sets